I literally cried when opening up this parcel. Like, I was an absolute freak. Like who the hell cries over plants? Apparently I do because I'm just an emotional wreck right now. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ange, if you haven't met me before, and today I'm gonna be doing a plant haul of all the plants I've gotten in the past, I wanna say three weeks. So it's definitely an accumulation of plants, and I did not do this much damage in one sitting. But I mean, most of it was kind of one sitting, but anyway. But before we jump into all the plants, I do wanna give a little bit of an apology for being kind of AWOL on YouTube and Instagram. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I have had a little bit of a struggle recently in terms of still being in lockdown in Sydney. It's kind of screwing with my mental health a little bit. I've just been wallowing in self-pity. So I needed that time to really just relax, but I am feeling a little bit better. So hopefully I can get back into my normal planty content. And speaking of planty content, if you do enjoy it, then definitely hit subscribe because I have so many other plant videos in mind for the future. So let's just jump into the first plant that I got recently. And this is one that I did get from Bunnings. So about two weeks ago, Bunnings has completely completely closed to the public so you can't go there to browse around or anything. So I thought that I would just pop in and get my essentials like soil and fertilizer and all that before I couldn't get them. Side note, everything was sold out so that was a bit of a fail but I did find a plant and all the plants were 50% off because obviously there's not going to be anyone to take care of them. So I did see this one plant and you know, I, I it wasn't a plant that's on my wish list. And you guys know I've talked about this. I'm trying not to buy plants just for the sake of buying plants. I really want them to be like wish list plants and things like that. But this one, it was so pretty and I couldn't say no. So I'm gonna go show you that one. So this is the first and only plant I got from Bunnings on that trip and it is a Diffenbachia. This says it's a Diffenbachia Memoria Corsii. Um, I believe, not too, really sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I saw its foliage and I just fell in absolute love with it. It's got these very different kind of green speckling to the leaves. It's got like a minty green, a darker green, a white, and it's actually quite a large plant. You can see in comparison to my body, it's actually quite large. And originally this one was $20, but because it was 50% off, it was only 10 bucks. So I really couldn't say no. It is still in quarantine because like, I'm not sure if there's any buggos on it, so I'm not gonna risk, you know, like popping it next to my other plants. But once I'm sure it is completely clean, I will be moving it, I think, to my balcony. I think it'll be really pretty out there and hopefully it can get nice and tall. But yeah, I just couldn't say no for $10. And I was just thinking, what if no one bought it and it was just gonna die in Bunnings while it's closed? So I couldn't do that, I had to take it home. So that is the first plant that I got. I don't really have many other different Diffenbachias in my collection. I've only got one on my kitchen counter, which seems to be doing totally fine. So I'm not really sure exactly how to take care of them. I'm probably just gonna treat it like I treat my other one, which is water it when it's like completely dry and give it some bright and direct light and see what happens. I do also want to repot it out of this soil because it is just very, very dense. You can see there's not much like chunkiness to it and I don't really like that in soil. So I am gonna repot it. Um, and probably just keep it outside. So I'm super excited about this one. This next plant I actually got from a seller that I've never purchased from before, but they are pretty popular on Instagram. I got it from JNS Plant Pickers and they do like updates every week or so on their online store. And I did see that they were selling this plant for such an affordable price. So I had to get in on that. I will say if you are in Australia and you're looking at buying from them, they sell out so so quickly. So there have been other sales that I've wanted to buy things, but they're literally gone in 30 seconds. And I'm the kind of person that really needs to mull it over and think about it. So it's definitely not the best for me because you gotta act, you gotta act right then and there if you want it. But I did get this little baby and I'm really excited about it. So the next baby I got is this little Anthurium Magnificum's Cross. This one is a velvety anthurium, very similar to your crystallinums and things like that. However, I do think as the Magnificum matures, it doesn't have as prominent veining, so it does look a little bit more 
plain, but not in a bad way at all. So this one obviously is a cross, so it's not a completely pure Magnificum, but that doesn't really bother me to be honest. I do just wanna see the vibe of what a Magnificum brings. So it did only come with two leaves. We do have this leaf here that is dying off. Um, that happened a few days ago. I'm not too worried about it though, because it seems pretty healthy other than that. There is a new little growth point in there. It is just a little bubba. I do really like getting plants when they're small because you can see them grow and it's really, really just heartwarming to see them flourish or fail in your care. But I'm hoping that I can just take care of this the way I care for all my other anthuriums and it will be fine. It's looking cute. I'm loving it. It's really adorable. The next plants I got were all from my absolute favorite seller and that is Foliage Freak. You've probably heard me chime on and on about Foliage Freak, but I do love them. And I did really want to try getting some Anthurium seeds because I've never actually experienced growing Anthurium from seeds or seedlings into plants before. And luckily, Win from Foliage Freak did actually have some seeds available, so she sent those to me. And currently, I just have them in a little takeout container. I do think this is like day four-ish of having them. So they've been in this container for about four days. I'm thinking about doing a YouTube video that documents from when they are little seeds to when they grow up. So let me know if you're interested in seeing that. But these little babies here are Anthurium crystallinum cross seedlings. Um, Wynn did say that they are one of the easiest seeds to take care of. And you can actually see that some of them are starting to germinate. There's like little green growth on some of them. They are just living on a moist paper towel, but I will be moving them to sphagnum moss when they start to grow out a little bit more, like when they get some roots and stuff like that. I have heard that this is just one of the easier ways to germinate seeds. They were completely fresh as well, so um, they came from straight from the berries to me. So I'm really, really excited about this. I'm keeping this in my grow tent, but in more of a shaded situation. So it's not getting super intense light, but wish me luck. If you have any advice on seedlings or growing seeds, anything like that, then definitely let me know because I am a complete noob, a beginner with seeds, and I am so excited to experiment with these. The next plant that I got from Foliage Freak, it's definitely a wish list plant. Like I wanted this plant for a really long time it is so pretty and I stalk people on Instagram with their beautiful plants and I finally have my hands on one and this is my beautiful baby here this is a philodendron glorious and in case you didn't know it is a little hybrid of your philodendron gloriosum and your philodendron melanocrysum and they have our baby and this is what it looks like I will give you a nice close-up of the leaves they are absolutely stunning they're velvety they're heart-shaped they're beautiful um, and unlike a gloriosum which crawls across the ground the glorious is actually a climber so i have just popped it on a quad pole at the moment this is all i have at home the pot is not the right size but you know, I don't have extra pots right now. So it is living on this little quad pole. It has four leaves and they're so beautiful. Um, my bad though, I did drop a towel on this plant and I broke the newest leaf right there, which, you know, I'm a clumsy, clumsy person, but it's still absolutely beautiful. I am so obsessed with this. Like I look at it right before I go to sleep because it lives right in front of my bed and it just looks stunning. It is truly glorious, just as the name suggests. So I'm so, so happy to have this in my collection. I've wanted this for a really, really long time. Hopefully I can take care of it really well. I mean, it's just stunning right now because any plants that come from Foliage Freak, they're absolutely stunning. So hopefully I can take care of it just as well. So that is my wishlist plant. All right, and the last plant I've got to share with you guys today was actually a gift from Foliage Freak. And I am so, so grateful. I literally cried when opening up this parcel. And Stephen, my partner, was staring at me like I was an absolute freak. Like, who the hell cries over plants? Apparently I do because I'm just an emotional wreck right now. But anyway, if you did watch my top five philodendron video, I mentioned that one of my favorites was a philodendron pasta zanum, And I'll grab that one. So in that video, I was chatting about this plant, saying it was one of my favorites. 
But Foliage Freak did message me and let me know that this is actually a philodendron Dean McDowell, which they are related. Philodendron Dean McDowell is the child of a philodendron pastazanum and a philodendron gloriosum. Yes, I believe I got that right. So they look very, very similar, but the pastazanum is a little bit less pillowy. So Foliage Freak did send me a pastazanum in the mail to compare, and I'm so, so grateful, so I'll go grab that one now. All right, so this is my beautiful pastazanum baby that I got from Foliage Freak, and you can see why I cried. It's just absolutely stunning. Stunning! Look at these leaves. They are definitely a lot less pillowy than the Philodendron Dean McDowell. And I do believe there's quite a big difference between the color of the new growth, like the sheath that's on here. You can see this one is like a little bit more warmish pink. And then you've got the Dean McDowell, which is definitely a little bit darker and more red. So I'm feeling like those were the main differences that I can see anyway, but I am just absolutely obsessed with this. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can see how thick this stolen is. It is so dang chunky and I am obsessed, in love, crying. I've had enough tears, but this is so beautiful. All right, guys, so those are all the plants I have to show you for this video. Let me know what your favorite was that I showed you. And if you have any help, comments, anything about seeds, growing anthurium seeds, and then definitely let me know. I would be so, so grateful for any of your tips. And if you liked this video, then hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.